I'd like you to meet my friend, the tRNA molecule. Once again, this is what it actually looks like. And it's, it is made out of RNA nucleotides. And you can see that it actually forms a double-stranded kind of double ladder in some places on this molecule. So that's one of the reasons why it becomes misleading to say that RNA is always single-stranded, because they, it can actually fold and stick to itself. It does have this kind of clovery shape or kind of an L shape if you lose track of your clovers. And there are two places on a tRNA molecule that are really significant. And so now we're going to go to Wendy Land, and I'll show you what they look like. Scoot over ribosome because we got to talk about the tRNA. First of all, it looks like, remember, that basically. And it has this place right here, which how am I going to draw this? This is like a sticky magnet. It's like a sticky magnet, um, magnet thing. Guess what's going to go on there to my sticky magnet thing? An amino acid. Remember, what is this thing? It's a tRNA. Okay, that's awesome. Guess what else a tRNA has? <sighs> Seriously. Now, this is a windified version, of course. What did I just draw you, dogs? I drew you three bases. Let's just make up some letters. U, G, U. That is called an anticodon. Okay, just take a second. Take a second and breathe about how amazing this is. What? You have codons in your messenger RNA, which is just three bases. And if you match the codon with the anticodon on a tRNA molecule, do you agree that I'm going to bring a specific amino acid into the mix? I know your mind just blew, so did mine. Even though I've done this like a million times, it's just so cool. Okay, now it's time for an animation so that we can actually see this whole thing unfold before your very